Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the podcast. It is, you know, it's time to talk about Benedict Cumberbatch and Sophie Hunter. I've been wanting to talk about them for a while. I, I would be hard, there are certain couples, certain situations over the, the history of the site that have attracted people's attention to the point where, you know, it, it seems to take precedence over almost everything else. I would say that, that uh, Tony Goldwyn and Kerry Washington are up there. Back in the day, it was uh, David Duchovny, probably, and, uh, and Jillian. That was, that was a popular one. Even going back to um, Jessica Simpson, I'm trying to remember who everybody wanted her to be with, and I, I guess Nick, right? So that was a big kind of thing. You had Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. You know, these these are iconic gossip kind of couples, and there's been more. Um, you know, Arrow certainly springs to mind. Uh, Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus, but also Benedict Cumberbatch and Sophie Hunter. I think it's just the way that it all came about. It was so sudden. It was just Benedict was was dating what's her name with all the vowels, and then the next thing you know, he wasn't. And I'm going to get into. It's going to be pretty salacious. There's going to be a lot of things thrown around. But one of the things that bothers me, that, that made me kind of hesitate to talk about this situation, is I feel that there's a, a level of stalking that occurs with, with Benedict and Sophie that doesn't really occur with a lot of others. Stalking and maybe some unhealthy stalking. But there's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good gossip. There's a lot of unexplained questions. And, you know, this, did Thirst get a hold of him? Was it an Oscar thing? going to talk about it all. But I think what I'm going to do first in this, what is sure to be a multi-part episode, is to go over some of the blinds from the very beginning, maybe not all the way through to the end, but at least, you know, the first year or so that they were together and, and, and give you some of those reveals and, and you can see kind of how it <clears throat> shapes up a little bit. And even, and most of the, the early ones are going to be back from 2014, I would say. And one of the first ones that I see, I think I wrote in about November, 2014, and it just says PR move to help with award season or the new fiancé is already pregnant. Both are being discussed as reasons for sudden engagement for this foreign-born A-list film and television actor, who would be Benedict. No one expects it to last long enough to get to an actual wedding ceremony. And I, I stick to that. Even though, you know, they went together. I, th- I, 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 I still think... That if you talk to anybody who knows them, they're, they're, they are just as confused as everybody else. Just as confused. You know, I think that they're still in it for, for both of them. And even if, um, if there was a recent blind that I revealed about them, and he was talking about whenever he gets his name in the newspaper or tabloids or whatever, that she gets to have hers in there. The next day, he makes it possible. The next day or a couple of days later. And to a, a, to, to a degree a little bit higher than him. So it's like, okay, you got your turn. Now you have to give me my turn. And I think that's, I think that's kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> and here's something that has been going on since kind of this beginning. And... You know, Sophie came from, from an ex, this, this ex who was an actor and, and essentially gave her every single one of her breaks. 
And he, you know, he, he wasn't that well known. Isn't that well known? But th- this, um, this one was from spring of 2015. And it just says, um, while uh, Benedict uh, was on a radio show, his significant other, Sophie, was having coffee with her supposed ex. They looked awfully chummy for being exes. A couple weeks before that one, this is, this is something that I wrote. So the Paps are trying their, <clears throat> their best, but have failed to figure it out. So two tabloid reporters have been assigned to follow this newly married couple with Benedict um, as the groom. Apparently there's a man that has been spotted several times with the wife, Sophie, but for only brief moments. The Paps have seen the man and have photos of him, but have none of him with the wife because she comes out of nowhere. They don't meet in public, and the meetings are usually under two minutes. The best they have got is a fuzzy shot through some dark windows a couple of times. The tabloid reporters have been trying to buy security footage from the places, but either have not had luck or there's nothing good on the video. Is he the lover? A blackmailer? He's definitely out of place. Now that's, uh, you know, Benedict and Sophie. And what, and like I said, a couple weeks later, I wrote the one where she was with her ex. But this is not her ex this one that is described there. Everybody was sure that it was not her ex. Her ex has, has a pretty unique look, and this was somebody that they hadn't seen before. This is also something. This was written about four days after I wrote uh, this, the most recent one about the uh, who they're trying to figure out. This was March 7th. This probably would have stayed inside the exam room. But when our C-list celebrity, Sophie who is married, and you know, C-list is kind of generous, but the thing is, is when you marry somebody, you, you kind of move up the list. It's the same reason Katie Holmes kind of hasn't moved down the list. Because, let's be honest, you know, and, and you are not going to find a bigger Katie fan than me. However, you know, there's just, she hasn't done anything, really. A couple episodes of Ray Donovan doesn't do it. And love her. My favorite... Celebrity photo of all time is one of is one of Katie Holmes, and it with Surrey. I, I will see if I can find it. She's running down the streets of Paris, I think, with Surrey, and she's laughing, and it's great. Um, you can maybe Google it. Anyway, let's start over on this one. This probably would have stayed inside the exam room, but when our C-list celebrity, who is married to Benedict, was paying her bill with her husband. The reception making Sophie's appointments for the remainder of the pregnancy was confused about the counting. It turns out that the time frame our celebrity told her husband for the pregnancy was off by about a month. So what she said was two months was actually three. And I think that you see that a lot in the first part of this. Is it because the, that, the dating came out of nowhere, right? And then the pregnancy came out of nowhere. Again, similar kind of to, to Tom McCady, if you think about it. So all of a sudden you're dating, oh, pregnant. Now, it does happen. Um, you know, CC, Kylie Jenner, and Travis Scott, you know, one night stand turns into forever. The cinema classic Fools Rush In, starring Matthew Perry and Selma Hayek. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is, this is all in March 2015. There is just so much going on. And, again, this is the first half of March. It's really interesting that Benedict has only been married a short time, and he already changed his will, and had a trust drafted that only needs a signature when the child is born. His wife is the one who made the appointments and got him to sign everything. She says she just wants to be protected. I can understand that. But she was talking to lawyers the same day they got married about getting the documents to her. I wonder if he was scared on his honeymoon. Something to think about. You know, when those documents come out, you got to be worried. It's kind of like a Daryl Hannah situation. Neil Young probably sleeps with one eye open every day. Uh, Don McLean, although he is a horrible man who beat his wife. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I really appreciate it. You can uh, catch my blog seven days a week, crazydaysandnights.net. 
over a hundred posts, updates every single day. Uh, social media, you can find me at NT Lawyer on Instagram and on Twitter. And of course, you can subscribe to Patreon for the full episode at patreon.com backslash NT Lawyer.